Danny Dyer, lovely to see you, darling. Lovely to see you, my little Vic. Lovely to see you. How are you enjoying working on the film? Well, you know, I'm towards the end of it now, and I'm really happy. I'm really happy with what I've done. Um, you know, the comedy side of things, I think I've nailed it. Um, got the essence of the character, and it's a tough character to play. No reference, obviously, from years ago. You know, obviously, it ran in the West End for nine years, and some very, very great actors played the role, including Ray himself. I don't know if Ray was a good actor or not. I, I, f from being around him, I'd probably I'd say no. Um, no, I'm joking, he's great. Um, so I've had to, obviously, I think it was, a, now I'm at this point, I realise how much of a big responsibility it was, you know? Hello again. Been in another accident, have you, sir? Oh, just a little bit of a problem in the bathroom. <laughs> I've got to go. It's a, a really a mad style of comedy, you know? Yeah. There's different ways of doing comedy, and this is, a, this is, you know, this is like full throttle, 100 mile an hour. So, you know, from in the first five minutes of the film, I'm, I'm, I'm complete raving lunatic, running around, just, um, you know, just trying to keep everything together, keeping a smile on my face, but inside I'm dying, you know? So the, the, the fact that, that my character's got these two colours going on constantly, where I'm trying to, you know, keep everything sweet, but yeah, inside, I'm, I'm you know, or just in trouble. Hey, 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 so you've got a little bit on the side, have you? There's more to Stephanie than that. Oh, she's a big bird, is she? Lovely. Listen, all hell will break loose if Stephanie reads anything in the newspapers about me and Michelle and living in Stockwell. Oh, what? Your girlfriend doesn't even know you're married? Stephanie's not my girlfriend. She's my wife. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Johnny, no. No, you are married to Michelle. Yeah, that too. I was honoured to be asked to do something like this because I don't think, you know, even though, even though I'm, you know, I'm a serious actor, um, I don't think I'm usually considered for things like this. I don't know why. I think I've got a bit of a reputation with this hard man sort of, sort of bust, to be honest with you, I'm a sensitive soul. So I was absolutely honoured that Ray wrote me a lovely email and really wanted me to play John Smith and I had the thought, has he, he got the right geezer here? Is he sure? And he watched a movie of mine called, um, all together, and, uh, and he saw that I had a bit of comedy timing and knew he could get me for cheap. I think that's what it was, but yeah, honored. And like I said, we just got the first scene out of the way, and it's all planned very up, and which is what you sort of taught on movies not to do really. It's all down, you know, subtle. Whereas this, we can play it like it's a play. It's very safe, this film, you know, it's not going to upset anyone. It's, it's, it is a joy to be on the set when you're making a film like this because it's not dark and it's not and swearing in it or going down that route or, you know, like the League of Gentlemen, you know, like these, these sort of things that are really dark and they're so dark that makes them funny, you know, it's like, it's safe and it's a bit fluffy and a bit, you know, it's not been done in a long, since, what, 20 years ago at least, and I don't think it'll be done again for another 20 stretch. I don't know, it depends how successful it is. What about working with Ray? How are you finding that? Well, you know, how can you not love the man? Um, it is funny because he's, he hasn't got a clue, technically. So he's helping me, you know, a lot, obviously, but, you know, I'm sort of helping him as well. I like to lock horns with a director, you know, and, um, you know, debate about stuff, but there's no debate with Ray. It's like his way. It's his way or no way at the end of the day. And who am I to argue with him? You know, this is a man that's been in the business a long, long time. And especially, you know, this is his baby, this this, this script. And, uh, you know, he knows this character. So, you know, for me and my instincts, I don't think it would have worked. You know, I could have done something with it, but I don't think I'd have been as funny, maybe. So I totally trust him in that. What do you mean? You'll be on the front page. Stockwell taxi driver, hero. <laughs> I can't be seen in the papers. What do you mean you can't be seen in the papers? You'll ruin me. I've got to get over to see Stephanie right away. Oh, why would it ruin you? Who's oh, Stephanie? She's a lady. All we do as actors is we play with words and we make words interesting, you know, and we make people want to listen to what we're saying. That's 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 basically it in layman's terms. So, you know, if you're both on, you know, on song, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and it's like a little game of tennis, 
boom, boom, you cop for that, I'll have one back. It's, you know, speed it up a little bit, slow it down. You know, it's all this, it's all this, you know, it's like light and shade, you know, and this is the one note Ray's always been saying to me is, there's two colours to this, there's two colours. Taxi! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? God knows, anyway! Whoa, 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 Michelle's gonna be here any minute! What? I know that! Well, she'll meet Stephanie! I know that too! Look, it's over, mate! It's over! It's not over! It's not over till the fat lady sings! The fat lady's already done six choruses! You've got to face up to it, John. I am facing up to it! I've been taking it for granted for years how much I love them both and how much they love me and I couldn't bear to hurt. I think I've got a plan. Ray's done the sequel, 15 years on. Um, can I do it? I mean, I'm fucking available. But um, you know what the irony would be is that, you know, that one will have 20 million pounds to make it and, uh, and they'll go and get someone else, you know, maybe um, maybe Dean Gaffney or, you know, someone like that or Shane Ritchie, he'd be good, I think, you know. Couldn't really lace his boots. So I'd be interested to see. Ray, Ray knows I'm around. A little bit of makeup maybe, make me a bit older, a bit of, bit of grey in the air. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm f***ing raring to go.